Welcome back to Deep Dive with the Housewives. It is the end of summer, and the end of summer can only mean one thing. It is the return of Orange County. I love Orange County. It's my particular favorite franchise. I know it maybe hasn't been at its best the last few seasons, but you know, New Jersey has shown us. You can kind of wallow around and, and, and maybe have some not so great seasons, and then you can return and rise from the ashes like a phoenix. And I'm hoping that's what we're gonna get with Orange County. When it comes to Orange County, I'm most immediately drawn to Kelly Dodd. I'm most immediately drawn to the conflict between Kelly and Vicky. Let me just preface this by saying, there's a lot that I do like about Kelly. I think she brings a lot to the show. I actually think when she's not directly involved in the conflict, she can be the unlikely voice of reason. Um, I think she's often funny, and I think she's good for the show. She's like a firecracker. She gets things going, and she certainly keeps things spicy. Having said that, I do have to say, I find myself getting very annoyed and triggered by her whole attitude in relationship to the conflict that's currently going on with Vicky. And the reason is this. Kelly is so upset because Vicky has sort of taken these low blows against her. We all know what happened. Last season at the reunion, I guess Kelly called Vicky fat. Vicky was hurt by this. And Vicky then made these allusions to Kelly having done coke in the past. And right away, Kelly got very self-righteous about this. She could not believe that Vicky would dare to go so low, to say things about her as a mother. She called Michael on the phone. She wanted to make sure everyone knew that she was a great mom. How dare Vicky, how dare Vicky, how dare Vicky. And as the season starts, she's still very much on this high horse. She's very much playing the role of the victim. You have no idea how it's affected me. You have no idea how it's affected Jolie. She's pointing fingers at Tamara and Shannon and saying, oh, how can you guys like, like her now after what she's done to you? And this is my thing about this. Kelly has been issuing low blows for years. In fact, she has even boasted numerous times if you throw a bomb at me, I'm gonna throw a nuke at you. Basically, if you hurt me, if you come after me, I'm gonna go after you even worse. And that's what she's done. You know, she is the first person to insult people's looks, to take jabs. She's talked about people's parenting. She went after Tamara's parenting. No wonder her daughter doesn't talk to her, is what she said in Ireland. You know, and then it triggered that whole great fiasco where Tamara like pushed her off camera and then collapsed into like a crying heap in Shannon's arms. This is who Kelly has been from the beginning. Kelly is someone who, the second she feels cornered or insulted or attacked, goes for the jugular. And so basically, that's what Vicky did to her. Kelly implied she was fat at the reunion, which by the way, is not a nice thing to say. I'm not saying it's the equivalent of a drug accusation, but it's not a nice thing to say. Vicky was hurt. So guess what? Kelly threw a bomb at Vicky. Vicky threw a nuke back at Kelly. Vicky gave Kelly exactly what Kelly gives other people, what Kelly has given other people for years. And suddenly, because of that, we are supposed to think that Kelly is a victim. It's a perfect illustration of why we always have to be responsible for our own behavior. You know, there is never a justification for going low. You might get a quick charge of like pleasurable satisfaction for getting someone worse than they got you, but guess what? You have just sunk down to their level or worse. So Vicky is really just holding up a mirror to Kelly and saying, hey, this is what you've been doing to other people for a while. And I feel like for Kelly, the invitation here for Kelly is to look into this mirror and instead of blaming Vicky, blaming Vicky, blaming Vicky and pointing the finger out there to instead point the finger back inside herself and maybe have the reflection to say, oh my God, like Vicky has done to me what I've done to other people and look how painful this is. Maybe it's time for me to think about how I treat others. Maybe it's time for me to think about the bombs I throw out there, the nukes I throw out there, the low blows that I take toward other people. Maybe it's time for me to think about the impact I have on others. 
And maybe it's time for me to take responsibility for my behavior in the same way I want Vicky to take responsibility for her behavior. Maybe it's time for me to take responsibility for my behavior, right? And that's the thing about blame and finger pointing. It's like whenever we're in blame, there's something we're avoiding in here. You know, and I feel like for Kelly, it's especially ridiculous because, you know, and again, I enjoy Kelly. I actually feel like she'd be someone who'd be fun to know and to hang out with in real life. But in terms of her behavior on the show, this is a woman who has been, you know, quite combative, quite flamboyant, quite free with her words and actions on the show. But now she's trying to make it seem like it's all Vicky's fault that her daughter is getting some flack and blowback. Come on, come on. You know, Kelly's the one who was shrieking, you're a fucking cunt in the middle of a crowded restaurant. You know, she's the one who's been so reactive from the beginning. You're telling me that it, your behavior has nothing to do with the comments and the feedback that Jolie has been getting? It's all Vicky's fault? This reminds me of Shannon. I eat because I'm stressed. I'm stressed because of Vicky. Vicky's to blame for my weight gain. Vicky's to blame for my marital woes. You guys, come on. Vicky is not a saint and Vicky has her problems. But you cannot blame Vicky for the problems in your life. Which leads me to my second bone that I want to pick with Orange County. And this is the same conversation about self-responsibility. But it applies to a majority of the cast. To this day, Vicky continues to take the heat for the fact that these rumors about Eddie being gay and David Bedore being a wife beater coming to the light of day. When in reality, when you go back to that season, it was Kelly who brought those rumors out on camera. Now, I am not saying Vicky wasn't the original one to whisper in Kelly's ear. I get it. Vicky was peddling in gossip behind the scenes. Now, I'm not saying that's right. Definitely, it's problematic to be gossiping about people that you consider your friends. Having said that, you cannot tell me for one second that Tamara does not do the same thing. I would even venture to say that Shannon does the same thing. I would venture to say that all these women behind the scenes are kind of whispering about what they hear about each other. And in fact, we now have proof that they do the same thing because at the end of this current episode, it has come out that Shannon, Tamara, and Vicky were all having a private conversation about some salacious rumor regarding Kelly and a train. So we now know that these two women, Tamara and Shannon, who were so livid at Vicky for spreading false rumors about them and their husbands, they are engaging in the exact same behavior that Vicky engaged in. They are peddling in rumors that they heard amongst themselves behind closed doors with no cameras around. So that right there, Shannon and Tamara are guilty of the exact same behavior that they crucified Vicky for, okay? On top of which, Vicky never brought it out on camera. Kelly did. Kelly did. Which is why it's even more ridiculous that Kelly is so upset that Vicky is questioning her as a mother in front of a nationwide audience. Kelly did the same thing. She put rumors out there about Tamara and Eddie. She put rumors about the, out there about Shannon and David Bedore. She did the exact same thing. Which is why it is so ridiculous that she is now getting mad at Shannon and Tamara for like getting over what Vicky did to them when it was Kelly who brought it to the surface in the first place. I want to revisit that dinner that closed out this last episode because I know what's going to happen. Vicky is going to bear the brunt for once again spreading all this gossip about Kelly, okay? If you actually go back and watch the scene, 
Yes, Vicky did make a ridiculous comment, something to the effect of, well, I think Kelly's upset with me because she knows I know all this stuff about her. This is sort of Vicky's MO. When she feels sort of hurt or rejected, she makes these kind of cryptic allusions to the idea that there's, you know, stuff she knows that she could kind of like hold over people's heads. And it's, it's an ugly attribute. She needs to stop it. It wasn't a good moment for her. But that's really where it began and ended. Tamara was the one who then kept goading Vicky to reveal what she knew. Vicky clearly said no. Tamara was then the one who said, is this about the train? Tamara brought this out. And you know, the reason why I'm just bringing this up, I think is because it's like, I just get so tired of all the self-righteousness on the OC. I'm tired of Kelly being self-righteous about how Vicky has attacked her. I was so tired of Shannon and Tamara being so self-righteous about Vicky spreading life altering rumors about them when it was in fact Kelly who brought it out on national TV. And by the way, why did Kelly bring that out on national TV? Because Tamara and Shannon were terrorizing her. That's another part that gets missed in all of this. Tamara and Shannon were being so cruel and nasty and vicious to Kelly on that bus ride to the airport in Ireland. And that's why Kelly lashed out. Now I'm not excusing Kelly for what she did, but the fact of the matter is if Shannon and Tamara hadn't been bullying her on that bus ride, Kelly never would have come out with that stuff in the first place. So, you know, there's a theme here, you guys, about the danger of self-righteousness and the danger of victimizing yourself. Because just like Kelly now has an opportunity to look inside of herself and sort of ask, you know, and sort of say like, hey, let me sort of take inventory of how I throw nukes at people and the impact that I'm having on people when I take these low blows. Shannon and Tamara, could have taken the opportunity two years ago when Kelly sort of let loose with all that information to look inside themselves and say, hey, what part did I play in this? Hey, maybe if I hadn't been like going in on Kelly and vilifying her and making her the bad guy on that bus to Ireland, none of this stuff would have blown up in the first place. I think the invitation for all of us is like when we find ourselves in these situations where we wanna feel self-righteous, where we wanna feel like the victim, where we, would, where we just wanna blame someone else for all of our problems, that there's always an opportunity here for us to instead stop pointing the finger at the other person and instead come back to ourselves and really question what is the part that I played in this? How did I help contribute to creating this situation? What in me can I take self-responsibility for? Because I absolutely believe Tamara and Shannon had things to take responsibility for in that situation with Kelly back in Ireland. And I absolutely believe Kelly has things to take responsibility for right now in a relationship with Vicky. And I absolutely believe Vicky has things to take responsibility for in a relationship with Kelly. And if all these women, and really all of us, if we were all willing to take responsibility for ourselves in the place where we want to victimize ourselves, I think the world would start looking really different. So that's it, you guys. I, there's a lot more to talk about. We haven't even gotten into Emily and Shane. We haven't gotten into Gina, but we'll save that for the coming weeks. For now, the invitation for you guys, I just really want you to kind of maybe look at your own lives and think to yourselves, if there is a place where you feel victimized by someone else, is if there is a place where you just want to blame someone else, see if you can drop that blame for a moment and instead come back to yourself and get rigorously honest and find out if there's self-responsibility that you could take in the situation or something that you could claim ownership of that could perhaps change your relationship to it. Because when we're willing to take responsibility for our own part in things, that's where we become so empowered. We're no longer victims and we change our energetic vibration. And the second that we stop throwing nukes at people, guess what? We're not gonna get so many nukes thrown at us because our vibration, the way we vibrate, that is what we call into our lives. So if you start vibrating differently, you're gonna bring other things to you. If you're someone who blames and throws nukes, guess what, you're gonna get a lot of nukes thrown at you. But if you're someone who takes responsibility for yourself, you're gonna start bringing in other people who start taking responsibility for themselves. 
So that's it for now. Like I said, I love the OC. I love the women of the OC. Best franchise. I hope it's gonna come back strong this season. There's gonna be a lot more videos along the way and I will speak to you guys later. Hit me up with any comments. And if you like this, subscribe. It helps me to keep creating more content more frequently. Okay, thanks guys.